<coughs> Trash. Hello, everyone. What's up? Sorry for my absence last week. I hope you survived it. But it was actually for a good reason because last week I was in Korea. Definitely one of my biggest dreams come true. I've always wanted to travel there and I filmed a lot of content. Don't you worry. But for this week's video, first of all, we're gonna do something. We're gonna test something that you have been requesting like crazy. This video will be about Popflex, which is a brand that was invented by a blogger. Her name is Cassie Ho and she actually is an influencer and she had a blog that was called Blogalites. <laughs> Blogalites? Blog Blogilates. Oh, actually she also is a YouTuber. So it's Blogilates probably because it's Pilates. Mm. Today Cassie has over 17 million followers and 2.6 billion views with women and young girls from all over the world following her journey as a head designer and CEO with two successful brands, Popflex and Blogalites. <laughs> that as a little background story for Cassie, she has really been going viral with her videos because she always takes you along on her journey, how she makes a product. And I've heard so much about her products, about her activewear, because she just designs her products and clothes with like, with a brain. <laughs> Creating a concept for some type of clothing, making sketches for it, and just taking you along the journey. That's like her content and that's also what made her super successful i feel like because her shorts especially they are popping off they are pop flexing off <laughs> and you guys have been asking me so many times to try her brand and i always was like i don't i don't i don't work out i won't need it <laughs> but everything has changed my life is a new life i work out and i've actually been doing quite well i would say about myself now i can finally test their clothes i don't know for me personally my biggest motivation to go into the gym is just wearing cute clothing and maybe seeing cute guys there but honestly in my gym there are no cute guys i only get like the, the gross guys that are staring or the dads which nothing against dads but they're obviously not for me <laughs> But anyway, I still want to look cute in the gym just for myself. And I feel like some of the Popflex products are super cute and might actually motivate me to go into the gym more. So I placed a very, very big order and I'm ready to try the products now. But before we get into the products, I need to make a huge announcement. We, we, we. I am going on tour again this year. I am so freaking excited for it because this year's tour will be bigger, better, everything. So right here on the screen, you will see all the dates that are set for Germany and Austria so far. I'm actually selling the tickets right now, right about now that you're seeing this. I have way more places where I'm gonna play this year. And for all of you that are wondering, where are the international dates? There will be international dates. We're just gonna do the Germany tour first, the Germany and Austria tour sorry and then in the early months of next year there will be way more dates outside of Germany and Europe I mean even America there's definitely more coming I just cannot believe that this is happening <laughs> So head over to Life Nation, Ticketmaster or Eventum to get your tickets now. I also have VIP tickets this year and I'm telling you everything will just be bigger and better. So please come, please. But now let's get into the Popflix products. So the website is called Popflex Active and they really have a lot of products. Active wear, they also have accessories, bags, jackets. Maybe we should take the quiz. Naomi. What's your preferred fit? I like both. What's your body shape? I'm a pear. <laughs> but I guess it's triangle. Which colors do you find yourself reaching for? Um, always pink. What's your typical choice of movement? <sighs> so many. I move so much. Let's talk bra priorities low coverage if you know what i'm saying <laughs> wow that's such a long quiz it's also kind of fun why did i not do it before i'm comfy i feel like i'm wearing armor i do often have a camel toe pick your fave neckline who who picks a v-neck <laughs> now i have to type in my mail and they will probably send me newsletters god damn it Ooh, naomi's edit okay okay 
Uh huh. Mm hmm. All right. I literally almost ordered all of the things that they showed me. So actually, I think it works. The quiz works. Oh, I love that it's like an actual category now. Our sustainability journey. We love to look at that. At Popflex, we are anti fast fashion. We design and produce solely and thoughtfully because we are conscious about reducing waste. We make quality clothes that last. We design with you and only make what you want, which is true because if you follow Cassie on. If you follow Cassie on social media and you see her content, you really see that she actively tries to make exactly what her followers want. We use the test first model. We are always on the safer side with quantities when it comes to production because we never want to overproduce. That's really smart and good. Recreate pop cycle as an easy way to swap clothes and breathe more life into your pre-loved pop flex pieces. Just because your size changed, your lifestyle changed, or you're bored doesn't mean your clothes are done giving. <gasps> so you can actually like send in your old clothes clothes and then they make something new out of it. They're doing sample sales. They have corn bags. We save bags so good it would make Cassie's parents proud. Oh, it's so cute. I am very pleasantly surprised. I really didn't know what to expect at all. Even this sustainability page, it actually makes sense. Like you can tell this is not greenwashing and I really like it and I really hope that the products that I ordered are good. Well, that's not really sustainable, is it? <laughs> I just cannot stop myself from trying the thing that I'm most excited for first. So we will look at one of her most viral products that she's ever made. It is a mixture of a skirt and shorts. I've never seen this before. It's like sporty, but it's also very cute. It looks like you want to dance in it. I don't know if I will like wearing stuff like this in the gym. Like it looks cute, but I don't know if it like gives me the vibe. So I'm so so curious about the skirt. Obviously I also ordered a top to go along with it which is this one right here. Apparently it's like kind of made to look well not sexy but like very flattering because it kind of like gives your boobs a little push. I don't have big boobs, so I would really appreciate that. It has built-in cups, which I already think is like so important because I fucking hate when they have like these loose thingies in there, which just fold every time you wash it and then you have to like get it out and like get it back in and they're like crumply. I'm just gonna try it on. I'm in love, everyone. <laughs> this is the cutest shit ever. Like I would literally go out like this. This is more than just underpants. This is under leggings. Do you see this cute skirt? Do you see it? I'm a princess. I'm a princess. <laughs> but will I wear this in the gym? Imagine me just like trying to lift weight and I'm like, Oh, actually, nobody can stop me wearing this in the gym. I'm just gonna bring some princess vibes in there. I think it also makes your figure look so cute. You can definitely also snatch it. It's so comfortable. Let's talk about the top because do you see my boobies? Do you see them? Excuse me? How does the top make them look that good? Let me just move a little bit in it to see if I can like work out in it. Feels good. Feels like you could do anything in this. The top, well, it's it's kind of tight, but I don't mind the tightness if they're giving me those boobies. I don't mind it at all. Does it give you security? I mean, it's not like my boobs need to be secured. There's nothing that could pop out. Just seeing what happens. Nothing. <gasps> There's a pocket. Oh my god, it works. You have hips, mama. <laughs> Wait, let me just like get my phone out of the case. Do you see it? I don't think you do. It's not even peeking out. This is genius. I don't even know how to process all of this. How did I not try this earlier? I mean, I don't even need to wear this for active wear. I can just wear it in my everyday life. Let's get to the only part where one could say that it's not worth buying this. So the skirt costs 58.95 euros and the corset top costs 44.95. It's a lot of money for clothing. It's just the price you have to pay if you don't buy fast fashion. So I think so far this price is like 100% justified. The quality feels amazing. It's super soft also. It's amazing. And if the clothes are that long wearing as they claim to be, like they're made to last, then I don't see an issue with this. So I actually want to try something else. I want to try the shorts because I personally always have issues with 
gym shorts. They just never make my body look good. I actually bought two. I bought the high rise ones and the low rise ones. Okay, so here is the high waisted shorts. Mm. It's just the normal shorts. Like there's nothing really special about it, I would say. I mean, it fits me, but it doesn't make my body look super flattering, especially the butt. I feel like it literally just makes the butt look like a pancake. From the front, I think it's fine. It just looks like normal shorts. But what I have to give them is that they're again, very comfortable. Like they're not too tight. They're super soft. Also up here, it's like snatched, like it is tight, but it's not too too tight like you can still breathe it doesn't press down on your belly too much because i've had this issue so many times with shorts i think these are okay but definitely nothing compared to the pirouette skirt and as i said it makes the butt look not very butty maybe i even need to iron these before i can wear them out let me just quickly put on the low rise shorts okay so low rise <laughs> it's a bit out of my comfort zone i usually don't work out like this. <laughs> I ordered a second top. This one is the corset bralette. So I feel very revealed. <laughs> like if you wear this together with this, you just have a very big midsection showing. But yeah, yeah, if it's your style, then whatever you do you, it's just for me like a little fresh down there. I also think the pants are a little bit too big. I ordered them in M, even though their quiz told me I should order them in L. And it's still a little big, I feel like. Can you see how much space I have here? I don't think it's supposed to be like this. But I also don't think you're supposed to wear them even lower because then it kind of makes a weird looking crotch. Like if I pull it down like this and then it sits right on my hip, then it fits actually. This part down here then looks weird, doesn't it? I also think it's a little bit too low rise. I don't think this is, no, I, this is too low rise, isn't it? If I like squat, it won't slide down more so it doesn't show like your... <laughs> What is it called in English? In Germany, we say a uh, Bauarbeiter Dekolleté, which basically means construction workers cleavage, which you have here if you bend down. Not the construction worker body shaming. <laughs> I think the butt again is as flat as a pancake. This fabric that just floats around here, so much fabric that's just chilling here, which kind of makes it look like you have a soggy yeah. bottom. This is even worse from the back, I would say, than the other shorts. I think it's better from the front, but then again, it doesn't fit me. The shorts and I, we don't warm up with each other. As far as the top goes, I think this is kind of cute, but what made me confused Used is that they're actually not these sewn in pads. They're like loose pads in there so you can take them out. And I thought she doesn't make that. I thought she always like sews in the pads because that's what their followers want. I think she actually like put that in a video somewhere. But yeah, maybe it just doesn't count for all of the clothes she makes. I just don't get it why, why it's in here. Like I would have loved if this would be sewn in because I had so much struggle just like putting the pads in the right place because they were kind of like all over the place when I put this on. That was kind of annoying and I just know that it's gonna be annoying when I wash it. I still don't think it's in the right place, but it's a cute bralette. It also makes your boob look cute, like it gives them a little lift. From the back we have this tied detail, which I also really like. It makes like a cute little, just some details. The low rise shorts were, the low rise so, the low rise shorts, the low, the low rise sh Are you serious? The low rise shorts <laughs> It's fashion. It's fashion. The low rise shorts were 53.95 euros and the high waist shorts were 57.95. So the high waist ones were a little more probably because it's a little more fabric. I forgot to mention that you have pockets again. The corset bra was 42.95. That's like more than the short. No it is. <laughs> wrong with me today. I actually have another thing that will fit to this outfit. So she made a hoodie, a zip up hoodie. I feel like a hoodie really has to hoodie, which is also what she said in the video. So apparently she really made sure that the hoodie is hoodieing. And I hope this is true. It does look good in this video. I love when there are like low sleeves, like there's a lot of air here. I love when it's like this super oversized fit. And also I found it in pink. So 
How could I say no? Yeah, it's cute as fuck. It is 100% hoodieing. You can really tell. When I made my hoodies for Unprofessional, like, years ago, I also really made sure that we have this thing going on because this is what really makes it look super casual, super cute. This band here is a bit tighter, so it kind of, like, folds over here and is not too loose because that also makes it look better. That's the hood. I can't really show you because I have these huge pigtails, but I can already tell that the hood is also hooding. It will look good as long as you don't have this on your head. I promise you. I can see myself wearing this so much, especially when going to the gym because it's one of those things that you can like start your workout in and then as soon as you start to sweat, you can slowly just like... <laughs> Just like off shoulder moment. Let's see what it looks like when I just open it. I actually love it more when it's closed. I love everything about this hoodie. It's also not too thick. Like you can really tell that it is meant to be worn in the gym because it's like not like a winter hoodie. The only thing I don't know how to feel about <laughs> is this tag right here. I mean, that's the PopFlex logo. I get it. It needs to be somewhere, but why in black and why like right there? Looks like a mistake. I don't like that. They have the logo right here. I think that's really cute because the logo is there, but it's also kind of like sewn into it. Like also looks kind of metallic. She did not lie. She did really create an amazing hoodie. The hoodie is just $67.95. That's a good solid price for a hoodie. This type of hoodie, if it's not fast fashion. So I have to give you very bad news. This was the last pink piece we're gonna try in this video. <laughs> Unfortunately, the stuff that I will try next was just not available in pink. If it were, I probably would have bought it. But next, we're gonna try something that is more on the boring side, I would say, but it's also very important because I also wanna try something for the people that <laughs> are boring. No, I'm just kidding, you're not boring, you're not boring. You're just not wearing pink, that's all. So she made like a denim kind of... Chill, man. It's not 100% like a denim look, but it definitely has like the vibe, the texture, not the texture, but the look of the texture, if you know what I mean. And with this, she really tried to make everything as practical as it can be. No camel toe. It also needs to shape your bot. Your bot. Bo no front seam, anti-pinch, squat proof. The super sculpt seamless legging. Let's try it on. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's not bad. It's just really not good. <laughs> For the most part, I don't like the color. I think this was actually the only color this was in because it's like this denim kind of thing. You might like this color, so this is very subjective, but just the fit in itself. This top, ooh, that's not doing it for me. Like this cleavage situation, ooh. You can really tell the difference between this top and the other two pink tops that I tried because this, first of all, it doesn't have pads at all, which is not so bad because you still can't see like the nipples. I'm the last person that complains about when you can see the nipples. I just don't like it in the gym. I just feel uncomfortable. So I think it's great that even though you don't have pads, you will not be able to see them. But the shape of the top it's just really, really not flattering. My biggest issue is actually the cleavage. I think it's too far up. I think it should be a little more down. Maybe that could fix the problem. I know that's also very subjective. Some of you do not like to be that exposed or show that much. Some of you probably also have <laughs> bigger boobs than I do. So maybe that's good for bigger booby girlies. I don't know, but it's just really not giving me the vibe. The leggings. I think they make a good shape from the front. I like that I don't have a camel toe. The crotch area doesn't look weird. It actually looks really nice. The butt, the butt, the butt is an issue. I feel like the butt has always been an issue so far. I know that she claims to try to make the butt look better with this seam right here. I don't really think it does a lot. In my opinion, this is not flattering for the butt. This is definitely not my type of clothing that I want to wear in the gym. I don't feel cute in it. I don't feel sexy in it. I don't feel sporty in it. Also, in this one, we don't have any pockets. Maybe if I like turn the top around, wait. I like the top better when it's backwards, actually. I think you could definitely wear it like this. Like nobody will notice that it is backwards. Um, you just have these bits here. This, whatever you call this, little nipples. <laughs> 
but I don't think anybody will notice. I still think that looks so much better than this cleavage. Also, I think it's the most uncomfortable yet. It is very tight. It's still by no means uncomfortable, but out of everything that I tried so far, this would be the most uncomfortable. I prefer everything else that I tried, even the shorts. Yeah, you didn't think I would say that, did you, hmm? Wait, I totally forgot to test the stretching. Do you see my ass cheeks? So the top was $44.95 and the leggings were $53.95. I think we're just moving in the same price segment the whole time. We're gonna try yoga pants. I don't really do yoga, but I do pants. This is a very interesting product because I like the look of yoga pants. I think you could also wear them to your gym session. And apparently she made ones that lengthens the legs. There is a front seam that is again anti-camel toe. And again, we have pockets, which you already know I'm a fan of. And then she says it has a V-booty seam. You can even pick the length of the yoga pants, which is amazing. I picked the smallest length that was available when I ordered this. And I also ordered it in plum. Unfortunately, these yoga pants are not available in cute colors, just like plum, black, and gray or something, which is all not really my thing. So let's try the yoga pants. This is a wild outfit. <laughs> Oh man, do you even see my yoga pants? I think you see it better in this camera, actually. I think the yoga pants are yoga panting. These are probably so far the most comfortable stuff that I am wearing. I think it gives a great shape. I actually am a fan of these pants. I just wish they were a different color. I wish they were something light, something popping, because um, amazing. I think the butt is also good in this case. I think it's definitely way more flattering and way more butty than the other pants that I've tried. You can really tell that these are for like stretching and yoga because I could literally do anything in these. Once again, we have my beloved pockets. It looks a bit stupid in this, <laughs> I have to say. I will definitely also wear those. I just wish they had more color options. With these yoga pants, you can really see a woman created this. Okay, you can't see it because my feet are sinking into my bed. It's not too long. It definitely does make make your legs look long, even though I'm short, I'm so short. Please make them in pink, please make them in pink. Also, what I didn't talk about yet is this, the sleeves. I didn't really know what to wear this to because this is not the pink that the other ones were. Do you see this? This is an ugly pink. I mean, it's actually the same color of my bows now that I'm looking at it. But I like the idea of this. I like the idea of sleeves because you feel like you're wearing something even though you're not wearing anything. You know, it just covers up a bit more if you're feeling a bit more modest. Also, with this top together in these pants, it's really a wild combination, but I just didn't know what else to wear it with. Like, there's nothing worse than these two pink shades together. So I'm just wondering, why is that not her normal pink shade? Because everything else is this pink shade. I would have loved to be able to wear this with all of the other pink stuff that I ordered. Also, what I just noticed is that it's a bit big. Uh, actually, I think I also ordered it in M because it was not available in S. Oh, damn it. Oh, they have this ugly tag again. Ooh, <laughs> this color is really my skin shade. I cannot. I look just very fleshy, very meaty. We almost tried everything, but I have two more very interesting products. We're gonna try one more shorts, but it's not the usual kind of shorts that I tried already. It is a ruffle short. So I'm having high hopes for this one because I didn't like the usual kind of shorts that she made, but with the ruffles, maybe it's actually gonna look cuter because it's diving more into this very feminine, elegant vibe and it's not trying to be sporty, so it maybe looks more like a skirt then and it's not that wrinkly, so I'm really having high hopes for this one. So let's try the ruffle shorts. Listen, these are cute. They make a very pretty figure because the ruffles, like all of the fabric and like the air that is in the ruffles, it makes your hip look like very hippie. I just don't know if it's like a little too playful for me. It almost looks a bit like children clothes. Okay, I just needed to see if I feel it more with the pink top, and I definitely do. Like now it's getting a bit more of that fit character, like it's an outfit. <laughs> I like it, I really like it. But the butt. 
it's just not working again we have a little bit of a soggy bottom i just don't know what to tell you guys i feel like with this one it's even more soggy than with the other ones there's like so much fabric here it looks so bad from the back oh man if i were just to look at it from the front i love it i would wear this but i don't know if i can wear it with confidence when i know that this is what i look like from the back huh? but once again we have pockets i saw in the video that she actually has like a secret little pocket back here oh you have a little zipper here can i put my phone in this make me sweat maybe that's like perfect for um airpods or something wait look it makes my butt look bigger also a bit square if nobody knew then you would just think i have that junk in the trunk wait now i have ideas excuse you how do you like my butt in this i mean from the side it's like it's fine but from the back you can see that there is literally a sock in there still it unfortunately doesn't hide the fact that i have soggy bottom in this and i don't know what to do about it i mean maybe it's not as bad maybe i think it's worse than it is guys maybe i really want to wear this it's so cute and so playful i just can't do the bottom i can't do it i mean well in the gym you're like in the movement you're like doing stuff you're running squatting this is how you squat right <laughs> squatted a burp out of me <laughs> this is what i do in the gym. like if i'm in the movement i don't think it's bad but it's not like you will ooh, it's not like you will never just stand in one place you have like resting minutes so then you'll have to probably rest like like this rest rest like this <sighs> Okay, don't mind me looking completely different than I did just a second ago. I actually took a little break and took some Insta pics and had to change my hair and my outfit and everything. So the on the run ruffle shorts cost $58.95. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe your guys' comments will make me want to wear it in the gym. Yes, I'm fishing for compliments. Please give them to me. So there's one more thing that I want to try. And I have very high hopes for it. This is also, I think, one of her newest products. She turned her skirt into a dress. And I think this could look really cute, obviously. But also a bit over the top. Maybe this is more something to go play tennis. Or I don't know if this is necessarily something that i would wear in the gym but let's see i don't want to judge too soon i want to see what it looks like on me and if i feel like a princess again so let me try it on i don't really know it's missing something maybe it just looks too innocent for me it does look a little bit like a sailor moon outfit because it has this situation like the v going down here and then the skirt comes out of it but it's just a bit too boring even though the idea itself is not boring at all like don't get me wrong it's like super cute but it's just not my style i think which is funny because the pirouette skirt was like totally my style but just this as a whole i don't think i would ever wear that anywhere to be honest maybe tennis also in this case we have the removal pads which i actually don't mind in this case because we have a dress and you might actually like want to wear the dress without the pads because i think this could be an everyday wear and i do feel like a princess i do feel like i'm out of a movie but like a boring movie <laughs> I don't know it's just sadly not giving what i wanted i also think with this white dress you can sometimes see the pads in there i don't know if you huh? can also it doesn't make such a good cleavage like the other stuff which is sad because i love that about the other bras and i was hoping this one would do it as well once again we have the pockets i love that i'm always pointing it out i just never get tired of them this is my look this is it <laughs> <laughs> maybe it could be fixed if it were just pink but not everything can be fixed when it's pink yesterday i saw morphine on rupaul's drag race do a like a kick and then she literally kicked her own face am i close <laughs>
I don't know. It looks like I'm wearing a tutu. The dress was actually $94.95. Definitely the most expensive product that I ordered today. But I mean, it is a dress. Dresses are always a bit more expensive than if you were to just buy a skirt. And just my verdict in general, I really don't have a problem with the prices. Of course, it is on the pricey side. But if you put it in relation to what you get, I think it's totally fair. I also have to say that not everything is a hit for me, but just because of my my own style, my own liking. In general, there was nothing wrong with these clothes. Just to make sure you get the ones that look flattering for your body because nobody wants a soggy bottom, you know? But also maybe you even like the way the butt looks in these shorts. Maybe that's also my personal preference. In the end, everything is my personal preference. Why are you even watching this? No, I'm very surprised by this shop. I am absolutely in love with the first pink products that I tried, you know that. <laughs> I think there's also so much innovation to be found in these products also the fact that she takes us along on the journey making these products and shows us her thoughts and how she approached everything i think it's just super cool i don't know cassie personally i mean i don't know her at all basically but i really think she's doing something that nobody has ever done before and she's doing it in a way that is very impressive and very cool i will definitely stay updated on their product releases because i feel like she's gonna release more stuff that i like yoga pants in pink please but yeah that was it i can't wait to go to the gym make sure to check out my tour tickets i mean you, you can't really check them out but make sure you just buy them don't forget about it they might be selling out fast and also don't forget i will announce some more dates and cities outside of germany i would love to also play a concert for the international broccolis i'm not forgetting about you okay i'm not forgetting about you don't forget to follow me on all of my social media which is naomi john on instagram naomi john on digital and naomi john on spotify thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye